Lesson 3.5, Model Multiplication with Arrays. We can use arrays to model multiplication and find factors. An array is a set of objects that are arranged in rows and columns. In this array, this is our array, we have three rows, one row, two rows, three rows. We have four columns. We have one, two, three, four columns. The three rows, those are the three equal groups. The four columns, that's what we skip count by. So we would skip count by fours. And our product, three times four is equal to 12, that's our answer. We could do repeated addition of 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is equal to 12, or we could skip count by the 4s, 4, 8, 12. Emma planted three rows of tomato plants with six plants in each row. How many tomato plants are there? We make an array by putting the same number of counters in each row. We make three rows of six counters for the six plants in each row to show the tomato plants. So we have three rows, one, two, three. We have six in each row, and these red squares are gonna be our tomato plants. We find the total number of counters, and we can multiply three rows times six, which is how many in each row. Three times six is equal to 18 tomato plants. And three times six is equal to six times three. Three times six is 18, and six times three is 18. Here, this array is showing three times six. We have three rows of six squares. I can turn this and make six rows of three squares, it's still 18 squares. See? So three times six is equal to six times three. We can use six counters to make as many different arrays as we can think of. So we have six, and I put them all into one row. So that would be one times six. That's equal to six. And if I put them going vertically up and down like this, we would have six rows of one. That's six times one. That's also equal to six. If I make two rows with three in each row, that would be two rows of three. Two times three is equal to six. And if I made three rows with two in each row, that would be three times two, which would equal six. So one times six is equal to six, and six times one is equal to six. Two times three is equal to six, and three times two is equal to six. We can write a multiplication sentence for this array. How many rows are there? There are one, two, three, four, five rows. And how many are in each row? There are one, two, three, four in each row. We have five rows of four. We have five times four. Five times four is equal to 20. We can complete the multiplication sentence to match the array. How many rows do we have? We have one, two. And how many are in each row? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in each row. We have eight and eight more, that's 16. Our multiplication sentence would be two times 
8 is equal to 16. We have two rows of 8, 2 times 8, it's equal to 16. We can draw an array to find the product. That's 7 times 2, that's 7 rows of 2. That's 1 row, 2 rows, 3 rows, 4 rows, 5, 6, 7 rows of 2. We have a 7 rows, 7 groups of 2 in each group. We can skip count by 2's. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 7 times 2 is equal to 14. Tim walked 4 miles each day for 3 days on his treadmill. Shade the array to represent the problem, then solve. Well, the days are the groups, so we're going to have three groups, three rows, with four in each group. We've got one group of four. Now we've shaded in two groups of four. We need one more. We've shaded in an array to represent three groups of four. Our multiplication sentence would be three times four is equal to 12. This array shows 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So we can model multiplication with arrays that have rows for the groups and columns for how many are in each group. We're going to learn about the commutative property of multiplication in our next lesson, and I hope I'll see you there. Have a wonderful day. Bye.